Hey everyone, this is Josh from Before. I'm here with McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Death Metal Batman from the Dark Father Build-A-Figure Wave. This is a re-release of the Death Metal Batman that we got a while back to go with the Bat Cycle, but instead of his um, Grim Reaper style scythe, he's got this uh, this crazy Death Metal guitar. Um, got all these other guys here, so the room's kind of cramped. There you see photo of the toy that they've got sort of styled to look like uh, a variant cover that featured Batman playing the guitar. Uh, like I've told people in, in other reviews, um, Dark Knight's death metal is funny. It's funny on purpose. It's funny by design. So, you know, some of these wacky designs with, with Batman in a giant leather trench coat covered in chains and spikes looking kind of like Spawn. It is meant to be silly on purpose. It's also cool, you know, it can be both things, and that's kind of what death metal is. Definitely uh, having fun with that storyline by Scott Steiner and Greg Capullo. Let's get this guy out. So I know I've been complaining a lot about re-releases and repaints and variants. I'll try to keep that to a minimum here, because this really is just an awesome figure. Uh, and it was when it first was released, it is now. And um, just due to the sheer fact that this guy goes really well with um, the other characters from this line, uh, and if you missed him before, this is a great chance to get him. Again, uh, you see just tons of texture on his costume. Um, tons of cool little embellishments, all these skulls and chains on his belt. Straps and bat-shaped knee pads and more buckles all the way down his uh, knee-high boots. More chains, more spikes. Just tons of detail and texture. It's really a great looking figure. Everyone complaining, you know, about the thought that Todd needs to add thigh cuts. Well, they do have him on this one um, because, for one, the design allows him to hide it uh, at that break where the, the buckles start. But also, this guy was originally meant to go on the bat cycle, so they did add that. And just, this guy's so cool. His jacket is just really fantastic. Um, this this soft material that they've uh, you know printed this this leather texture into that it looks looks really great and it's just fun fun to play with really just he's cool looking from every angle one of the best heads they they did you see um, the the paint is not quite as um, like his stubble not quite as clean as they did on this other version that I got. I'm going to try to show you without taking him off the bat cycle because it's a total pain. So you can see that there. I could bring him in here. Just a little bit sloppier, not quite as clean. But man, that, that head sculpt's one of the best ones they've done yet. Really looks like Capullo's drawings. Um, bicep swivel, double elbows, etc., etc. One difference from the first release is I think they've they've done a little bit more of a silvery kind of wash over this. They've hit his um, his ring, like his glove has got a little bit of just um, a wash on it to give it more definition, but they also hit his um, Black Lantern ring. Yeah, see this hand I think is not, doesn't really have as much. You can just kind of tell when you feel this and you hold it that it kind of, it just feels like uh, it, it just feels like the higher end of this this multiverse line. Like it feels like it cost more to make. It feels like they threw a lot more bells and whistles in it um, than they do most most of their other releases. And most of their releases are excellent. And this one is just a little bit more. They just put a little extra love in it. This ball joint on his ankle, like this came just a little out of alignment. Sometimes that happens on these these figures, and you just got to do a little bit of finesse until you get that ball joint lined up just so. Um, it's a little bit of a pain, but it's also something that, like, if you're if you're having trouble standing up your figure, you just got to spend a little bit more time with it and, and try to get this stuff, you know, uh, lined up just so. You know, you might have to be a little rougher than you think you, you can be, but these things are pretty sturdy, so just, you know, Take your time and get it to work the way that it's supposed to be and you will have more fun with it. That's just a public service announcement. So he comes with this death metal guitar, big uh, 
blade on it, screaming face on there. Um, it's actually got quite a bit of details on it. Um, I love the way these keys are all wonky and crazy. Uh, it, it looks pretty rad. It is made of this soft rubber material that they've been using for a lot of um, accessories, which you can see, you know, the bend there, but it, but it's um, kind of hefty in the middle. Feels a little bit sturdier than um, like some of the swords that they've been doing in this soft rubber. I don't love that they use this material for these, but um, you, know, you can see even on the back, there's nasty little bits of gore and viscera. Um, and uh, this kind of highlights, one of the issues with this is they, they threw in this other uh, accessory and it's really fun and silly and wacky. They didn't give him any extra hands. Like this, this one does, you know, pinch the neck all right. Um, you know, same hand that would be used on the bat cycle to grab the, uh, grab the handlebars, but it, he just kind of, you know, it, it holds it like that, which, you know, if you get him in a pose where he's playing the guitar, it's not terrible, but there's some shortcomings kind of highlighted by the fact that like this Superman actually came with really amazing extra hands that would look perfect playing this guitar. Um, so it just kind of seems like, um, you know, they should, maybe this is the wrong, even though they're basing it on that variant cover where he is playing the guitar, maybe everybody in this wave should have come with an instrument or something. I mean, cause see what I mean? That really, those hands just set off that, the idea that he's really playing that guitar, really sell that idea. Uh, so it's too bad that they couldn't just throw us um, some some extra hands on this guy, especially considering he is a re-release. Would have would have just taken it one one step further into something like really special uh, that felt like deliberate and not felt like mm -hmm. yeah we, we, he's supposed to be playing guitar. I don't know, but these hands work all right. You know, he pinches the neck of the guitar. The hand could kind of look like he's holding a, a, a guitar pick or something, you know. I just really would, would have loved those hands to make it look like he's really wailing on this thing. So that's that's the Death Metal Batman. Of course, we've seen him before. I, as far as him being a re-release, I'm not totally um, heartbroken about having a second one of these. Um, mostly just because that first one I got He's basically married to this bat cycle now, um, you know, and it's a bit of a shame to just have him on this bat cycle and not seeing all the great detail that they put into this guy and seeing just kind of how how impressive he is kind of when he's standing there with his long trench coat. So I'm not not totally heartbroken about having to have two of these things. Uh, it really is just one of the one of the cooler figures that they've done. Tons of bells and whistles. The thigh cuts for all you guys screaming for thigh cuts. So there you go, guys. Death Metal Batman. He rocks, literally. Uh, I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.